हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद अ टॉपिक ऑफ रेशियो एनालिसिस राइट एंड इन द रेशियो एनालिसिस वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एक्टिविटी रेशियोस एक्टिविटी और टर्नओवर रेशियोस राइट so the first one that we covered was inventory turnover ratio inventory turnover ratio the second was trade receivables turnover ratio the third was trade payables turnover ratio right so if we talk about the activity or the turnover ratios in total there are four ratios and out of those four ratios we have covered three ratios the first is inventory turnover ratio that in a year how many times we are able to convert our inventory into sales right then the trade receivables turnover ratio that in a year how many times we are able to recover cash from the sundry debtors then trade payables turnover ratio it says in a year how many times we are able to pay to our sundry creditors or the trade payables clear now in this lecture we are going to do the fourth and the final type of activity or the turnover ratio the last activity or turnover ratio that is working capital working capital turnover ratio right so this is the last of the activity or the turnover ratios working capital turnover ratio now let's understand about this ratio see the first thing that there are two elements between which we are going to establish the relationship in the working capital turnover ratio is the first element is revenue from operations revenue from operations right and the second element is working capital now we discussed a bit about working capital when we discussed current ratio right we discussed a bit about the working capital when we discussed about the current ratio the very first ratio right now we have to establish relationship between revenue from operations and working capital so let's understand it with a very simple example right so suppose you have 2000 rupees in your pocket right this is your pocket you have 2000 rupees in your pocket 2000 cash right now you have to buy a gift for your friend you bought a gift worth rupees 1000 right this is i'll write down here gift to 1000 right now this cash is what this is your current asset cash is a current asset i told you when we discussed the current ratio that cash is a current asset and when you have to pay for this gift this gift is what this is your current liability isn't it you have to immediately pay off this liability this is your current liability any liability which is payable within a period of 12 months is known as current liability so when you go to the market to buy a gift for your friend worth rupees 1000 right this 1000 is what this is your current liability now in your pocket you have 2000 rupees you have sp sp you have spent 1000 rupees in buying a gift then what is left in your pocket 
what is left in your pocket is what is the total cash right minus gift what is the total cash 2000 rupees and gift for 1000 so you have rupees 1000 left in your pocket this what is left in your pocket this is known as working capital this is known as working capital right so working capital is what working capital means current assets that is the cash that you have in your pocket minus current liabilities that is the liabilities which are to be paid within a period of 12 months that is the immediate liabilities whatever excess that is left after paying off the current liabilities that is your working capital clear now you have 1000 rupees is working capital what do you do you have now 1000 rupees in your pocket right you have 1000 rupees in your pocket what do you do you buy a lottery ticket you buy a lottery ticket right worth rupees 1 lakh what you did you have 1000 rupees extra in your pocket you invested those 1000 rupees in buying a lottery ticket worth rupees 1 lakhs and then what happened you won the lottery right you won the lottery and you get rupees 1 lakh as promised so what happened now you invested 1000 rupees right in buying a lottery ticket worth rupees 1 lakh you won the lottery you get 1 lakh rupees this 1 lakh is what is this 1 lakh called this is revenue from operations by investing 1000 working capital isn't it so out of the 2000 that you had in your pocket 1000 you spent it on buying the gift whatever is uh, whatever is left after that is your working capital now you invested the working capital worth rupees 1000 to buy a lottery ticket worth rupees 1 lakh you won the lottery and you get rupees 1 lakh so what is it it is revenue from operations by investing working capital you invested the working capital of 1000 rupees and you earned a revenue of 1 lakh rupees right are you getting the relationship between working capital and revenue from operations this is the relationship that by investing working capital working capital is what whatever excess is left after paying your current liabilities that is your working capital so by investing working capital how much extra revenue how much revenue from the operations you are generating right that's why i said when we talk about the working capital turnover ratio we talk about revenue from operations and the second element is working capital so working capital turnover ratio is working capital turnover ratio this is equal to revenue from operations revenue from operations divided by working capital that is by investing working capital how much revenue from operations we are able to generate right more the revenue the better it is that means if the revenue is more the 
the working capital turnover ratio will be higher so i can say higher the ratio higher the ratio better it is clear higher the ratio the better it is right so this ratio tells us about the efficient utilization of working capital to generate revenue from the operations right this is the efficient utilization that you invested 1000 in buying a lottery ticket worth rupees 1 lakh so this ratio helps in identifying whether the working capital is being effectively used to generate revenue from operations or not this is the main aim of this working capital turnover ratio clear very simple one working capital is current assets minus current liabilities right and in the absence if you have you are not given revenue from operations you can also use cost of goods sold right cost of goods sold divided by working capital so you can either use the revenue from operations or you can use cost of goods sold if you are not given the revenue from operations right so you can use either of the things clear let's frame one example very simple example we have current assets of rupees 9 lakhs right we have current liabilities of rupees 3 lakh and revenue from operations this comes to rupees 30 lakhs calculate working capital turnover ratio so you people should do it before i explain the example right just go for it so we need two elements when we talk about working capital turnover ratio one is revenue from operations that is directly given as 30 lakhs the second thing we require is working capital that we can calculate so what is working capital working capital is current assets minus current liabilities so current assets is 9 lakhs current liabilities is 3 lakh so what is the working capital you have excess money of 6 lakhs now you have to invest this working capital in your business to generate the revenue from operations so what is working capital turnover ratio that is how much of the working capital you are able to turn into revenue this is revenue from operations divided by working capital what is revenue from operations 30 lakhs what is working capital 6 lakh so this comes to five times clear this comes to five times so higher the working capital turnover ratio the better it is this shows how many times we are able to turn our working capital into revenue by investing the working capital how much revenue we are earning so higher the ratio the better it is clear clear friends so a very simple ratio right 
so friends this is all about the activity or the turnover ratios the first one we studied inventory turnover ratio second trade receivable turnover ratio third trade payables turnover ratio and the last one working capital turnover ratio so these are the four ratios if we talk about the activity or the turnover ratios right so friends in the next lecture we are going to start with the next ratios that is profitability ratios right this is what we are going to start in the next lecture and if you have any queries just send me an email at ksj teaching at the rate of gmail.com right so that's all for this lecture friends thank you so much